Hey, that's more than anyone else has done. I think the next closest person has uh, been able to see him. I assume your intelligence or wisdom is going to be good enough to get you out of your own maze. He left. Sorry, oh. Doc. How long is it going to take you to get out? You really uh, chose maze over glitter dust against a guy with a high will save, SR, and spell turn. Uh, to be fair, I didn't realize I didn't know, my character did not know he had spell turning. You know, it's funny is uh, your character didn't know he had spell turning, but you also forgot. Well, I knew. I just figured my character would try to take me out of the fight as soon as possible. There's no so, way uh, you would cast your highest level spell against someone you know has spell turning as a test. Or as a anything. To be fair, I, I didn't even... Yeah, no. Because that doesn't end the fight. That just delays it by however many turns for us to find the one other mage that's attacking us. Gets around the I think uh, Joe's killed all the mages. I think the Elithid oh, so. is the only thing left. So then we would just be sitting here till we pop back out, and then we would all attack at once, I guess? <laughs> well, Violet has... Uh... See invisibility, and Corey has blind sense, and no, no, I'm referring to if he had successfully mazed him. Oh yeah, we're giving you time to rest up, like heal up and stuff, and buff if you want it. Give give us a couple rounds, and then get ready for him. Yeah, basically. Am I going to try to get out of the maze? Um, did Archer go? I didn't sort the initiative. Okay, unlocked, so the unlocked. you what? I thought I did. Do I not go first? You yeah, you've got a thirty. Okay, I was what? Okay, yeah. Go ahead. So if you <laughs> oh, I'm gonna lock that so I get out. Are all those birds threatening the illithid? Apparently, yeah. Yes, they are all threatening him. And the bears. I get out. That's a full round to come out of the maze, right? Uh, yeah, yes. you're going to lock that up? Yeah, I'm going to lock that up. Okay. And, and then birds all do claw attacks. I don't think you would have to lock it up, would you? You have plus three luck already, don't you? I have plus four luck. Oh, from the, uh, no, this is a from skill. Prayer. So, the yeah, prayer. So prayer. Prayer does that. Oh, okay. Then I'm out. So yeah, I was only in maze for one round. It's a crit on top of a crit. On top of a crit. On top of a confirm. Okay, well, he'll luck down the first one, so it's not a crit. Sucks, doesn't it? It does. One hit. And that is the only hit you had? Was the 20? Uh, no, I'm just doing... They get, there's six attacks total here, so one... Five, six, so only one hit. So I take off one image, right? Oh, uh... The images are way lower. Oh, okay. So the 17 roll would be a hit, yeah. and the 20 roll would be a hit, and the other 20 would be a hit. Actually, they would they would just hit images. So uh, one, two, four. three, four, five. How many attacks do you get? You got six? Six, yeah. And you missed and... two of them. So you take out okay. four images. 
I was just looking at his armor class and I didn't put the shield bonus on there, so it's actually 36, but that doesn't affect the images. I cast shield, but I didn't actually uh, up my armor class. Okay, so you're done? Yes. Okay, so he will five foot out from the flank. They don't have reach, do they? Uh, no. So he's perfectly safe there. And you said they're immune to electricity? Yeah, and, a ton of, and they have a ton of resistances and spell resistance. Oh, baby. You know, it really sucks when you're flapping your wings. <laughs> what? No longer flapping your wings. Stunner hold person. <laughs> yep. Uh, he will hit them with a power word stun. Is that an area? It's a creature per three levels or something. Shit. I'm just looking up to see if it's... Power if, word stun is one creature. Yeah, I know, but the updated version isn't. Is it considered a petrification effect? Uh, no, it's a stunning effect. Let's hope their save is good enough when you... What save is it? I think it's a... Uh, a will save. Uh, power word stun. I thought we didn't have a save. Yeah, yeah. I, I got rid of this stupid hit point thing because it didn't make any sense. We had this same discussion when we were fighting Balin. Oh, I need. I really need to get the updated version. It's on the spell doc. It's from before I'm you even joined. This, I'm looking at the spell doc I have. It's still hit die. Is it really? Yeah. Because I remember uh, Paul using it in the uh, Chaos game. He used that's what he used to kill uh, Lilith. I will post do it. Do you remember him changing in one of the game for in one of the games we used it? I don't know uh, how your reading goes, but that says one living living creature per level, no two of which could be more than thirty feet apart. No, I'm talking about the hit die. There is no save, but any creature, 11 hit die or more, receives a will saving throw. Oh, they're not high enough hit die. Okay, I sorry, I didn't understand what you are saying. Yeah, they're only 7 hit die. Yeah, I left in the, it gets rid of low level guys. Okay, so they're just stunned, no question. Well, that's a shame. And do they have spell resistance or no? They do. They do not. It, it's only an 80 foot drop. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Yeah. That's not like it's only. It has a drop like that. It hasn't killed my bird before. Well, only problem is now I won't know where he is. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasted an 8th level spell or 7th level spell on um, stupid birds. CR 9 birds. Bird yeah. people. Well, well I. I I wanted to get rid of them because I didn't really want to have to waste a spell to teleport from where I am. And that with them all crowded around, he's going to take a whole bunch of hits and whatnot. And Corey is on his way to be uh, be a flanking bot. There yeah, that's him. another perk. I'm glad you pointed that out. <laughs> uh, I think it's time to take Corey out of the air. So I will hit him with a greater dispel magic. Got anything, any spells that you like, Corey? 
Oh, I'm sure I did. Start at the top. Nope, going to the bathroom. Everybody can take a break while Corey gets his shit pushed in. What's your highest level spell? Uh, I guess it'd be Greater Haste. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, so he is doing it at 30 plus 5. I'm guessing your greater haste is gone. I have no idea. I don't understand how dispelling even fucking works, so whatever you um, tell me. Okay, so you use the caster level, which I think... Uh, oh, that, would, that was Violet's caster level, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So here it's her caster level, plus 11, plus uh, the level of the spell, and her ability mod. Her caster so level is 14, her ability mod is 5. Her total when she cast the spell was 5? Yeah, that's her charisma. Oh, okay, I thought she had something that boosted it. No. Nope. Okay, so she's 14 and uh, 5, that'd be 19, and then she gets 11 on top of that, brings her up to 30. So it rolls over 30. Uh, are more than enough and since I am plus 35 he is not going to fail on any of his okay unless you have spells from someone else Yogi gave me long strider I don't think anything else uh, Yogi back spy yet? spider skin is Yogi okay uh, I think we might have to wait for Joe to come back then anyone else give you spells nope Okay, so all of your violet spells are gone. How high in the air are you? 120 feet. Ouch. It's not going to hurt that bad. Yeah, you do have a pretty insane acrobatic. I think you can drop it. I don't know why he's attacking me. I'm going in the complete opposite direction. Of You're flying. That's basically it. Everybody's flying. There's not that a single person here who isn't flying but Thorgar. Yeah, but you're the one that's closest to him. Of everybody here, you're the one that's going to get to him the soonest. How many spells did Joe cast on you? I think he only... Oh, he casts... Spider skin and long strider in the prayer. stalwart stalwart pack and prayer, I guess. What's your caster level, Yogi? The stalwart pack would have been sixteen. Everything else is seventeen. Okay. What's your wisdom? Eight. Uh, it's mod eight. That's your natural wisdom. It's naturally in the morning when you cast Longstrider, what is it? Yeah, eight. Okay, that's fine. So you have uh, 17 plus eight is 25, and then 11 as a base uh, brings you up to 36. So basically just don't roll a one. Um, what were your other spells? Was Longstrider, Spider Skin, uh... What the hell is that one? Uh, stalwart Pact and okay, so you would be a spellless. Mm, fun. So I used standard action and uh, fast action. Shit, I only have one ninth level spell left. only well because i only have one other ninth level spell left and i don't want to waste it on a quickened spell it means i have to go down to a third level spell uh 
and uh, he'll chain missile the birds to finish them off. Done. I have done literally nothing this whole fight. You hit a bunch of times. Hit what? I hid. Died. Hid. Yeah, I soaked damage is all I did. That is true. <laughs> it wasn't even stopping other people from soaking damage. All I did was just soak damage. Okay, so you guys take 40 points from the full damage. What is my 38 acrobatics check save? Uh, that takes off 3d6, so you can take off the last 12 points. That's it? 3d6? Yeah, that's 30 feet. Unless you're a monk, there you can only reduce it by 30 feet. So what did you say I take? Uh, 12 less than 40, so 28. And then the center bird takes 30 points of uh, magic missile damage, or chain missile damage, and the other two take 15. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're dead after the fall. Um, well, they've got 95 hit points. 40 is only half their hit point total. Oh. Okay. Another 30 on top of that doesn't even kill them. And the two ones beside only take 15 because that's all Chain Missile does. Definitely thought that they took more from... No, but they're all fucked up now. They definitely can't get back into the air anytime soon. That is a hard no. Yeah, and they're out for D4 rounds on top of that. Actually, 2D4 rounds. Or, more accurately, uh, 2D4 minutes. So, yeah, hitting them with a uh, magic missile is actually a waste of time. Oh, well, I'm not going to take it back now. Uh, then we are on to Corey. Pilot flies over and casts Fly on Corey, and then Corey will go in the air. Okay, you're going to double move straight back up. Yeah, so I can go 120 feet straight up. Perfect. Do I have to climb for perfect, or I just go there? Uh, you still have uh, half movement when you're going up, so you can only go up 60 with, feet. With perfect, you'd have full movement. Mm, read the fly spell. Oh, is fly, fly perfect move move? Oh, but she'll... Uh... She'll cast a healing spell on him too before he fires. Oh. That's a she was sent at half speed. Tough fly was perfect maneuverability. No, I think it's only good. Yep, good. Perfect maneuverability is insane. That's yeah, really nice to have. But you can charge. You can or can't? You can. With good? The subject of fly spell can charge, but not run. That's a weird distinction. I, I would not have thought about that. No, I've had people do it. Uh, I knew that you could charge because you can dive. I just didn't realize you could charge straight, like on a horizontal plane. Are you done, Corey? Yeah. Okay, then we are on to Yogi. I would assume Corey is next to him. I will do a fairy fire burst uh, on Corey. I'm uh, 120 feet in the air. I don't know how high he is in the air. 
casting range is long. Oh, that's a neat little spell. Yeah, but I don't think I'm right beside him is what I'm telling you. I think I'm still below him. Yeah, he's 60. only 60 feet up. All you're going to do is fairy fire Corey. No, I'm 120 feet in the air. I'm 60 feet from where I, I moved from. How are you 120 feet in the air? If you can only oh, yeah, you're 60 right. I'm feet. only 60 feet in the air. You're right. He's you can move feet. sideways while you do that 60 feet. He is nowhere near the Alithin. Oh, he's only that high up. Then I will climb. Got 60 feet left, so yeah, I'm only 30 feet up. Okay. So you're at 30 feet. Corey's at 60 feet. And you're like five feet apart. Right there. Okay, then we're on to Archer. He's not doing anything. Okay, and then we're on to uh, Thorgor. Thorgar. I still don't have a target. Um, there's no point to hold an action since I'm the last. Uh... I will just wait for somebody to tell me what to do. Okay. B -b -b Bonus round. Okay, then we're back to Kalen. Um, I'm gonna move there. Yes, I can see him there. I'm going to attach a litter dust to an arrow and fire, full round fire, rapid fire him. So the first arrow, if it hits, I have to roll SR, right? Yep. Let me just check the score. Oh, it is a con conjuration spell. Fuck yeah. 31 beat its uh, SR? Its SR is 31. Does it turn it on me? Um, I think it does because you targeted on him because he doesn't get a save, right? Well, I, yeah, I mean, I hit, targeted with the arrow, so would it turn back to the arrow? Well, it would still be turned by him. It wouldn't affect anybody because it would just blow up in the air. Okay. Um, and then, I just want to double check my crit range. I don't think I have crits here. Yes, I do. 53. What, uh, what, what he, got turned? Glitter his dust. Uh, glitter dust. So first... Doesn't it have to be a targeted... Well, when well, he does it with his spell arrow, it targets the guy who oh, is it. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Yeah, and I'm as a result, I'm it uh, that That's person right. doesn't get a save, so that would affect spell resistance. Or yeah. sorry, spell turning. Yeah, no, I agree. I did not know it was an arrow. Yeah, yeah Kellen's not, not, not so much with the bright. You get rid of all of his images? I did off the first four, and then the second four go through, unless he has some something else. He technically has protection from arrows, but I think that's only plus five, uh, which yeah, is what you have. And then he has his stone skin. So I hit through the protection from arrows, right? If you have plus five, yeah. Yeah, I do. And then do I hit through the stone skin? No, because it automatically has ten points of hardness. So I did first round of arrows, does 21, and then unload the next another round. Oh, uh, he also has displacement. Okay, uh, how many? So if I hit one, two, three, four times, five times with the crits. So 50-50, right? Yeah. 
Keep in mind, four of those 50-50s are the images. Uh, images were the first round, so I'll roll 10d100. Yeah, 10d100, because I had him. Yep, that's fine. Ones. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. So four images, and then the crit doesn't hit. The the thirty, and then the thirty-four. So forty-four points to uh, minus his dr. Okay, noted on his token. I don't think he has any other defense. Oh, he has three points of DR for his armor. Yeah, that's what I took off the six for there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's everything. So Yogi can kill him. Yogi's not near him yet. Is it Yogi right beside him? No, Yogi's still down at 30 feet. Um, should I just take my greater celerity here, another one, and try to finish him off, guys? Didn't you already use your greater celerity? By not allowed to cast it again in the day. So you I get two level ninth spell. level spells? Eight level spell? Eight level spells? You get two eighth level spells? Yeah. What do you get greater celerity from? It's a wizard spell. Yeah. He gets it from Tamora's thing, right? Are you Tamora? Uh, isn't it part of this wizard spell list? Level? You're 15th level. I, I don't know where anything about the spell. I'm asking, yeah, you get two 8th level wizard... spells. How do you get the second 8th level spell? Oh, uh, I get one for, one for domain, one for uh, ability. One for... You have a high enough ability that you get an 8th level spell. Freaking... Oh, no, I don't. So I only get the one. I get and your get domain spell domain. is your domain spell. Yeah, so I only, would only get the one. Which is what I just said. Okay. I had a mark wrong. Nope, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't crazy. Uh, or yeah, that you my... didn't go to like 16th level. 16th level, you get a second one. Yeah, it's uh, seventh level where I get one for bonus for my ability, not eight. Nope, that's fair. Okay, Yogi, you're up. I start flying up. How high is he? He is still 120 feet above the building. Oh, perfect. I fly up to him. Where did I go off the turn list? Uh, you went off the turn list when you lost your greater uh, haste. Violet still has hers. Oh, okay. Well, I deleted you because you're not in it, and I assume she's not going to fly up and do anything. She's going to go give Thorgar a fly spell. That's fine. She can go do that. So, Thorgar, you're flying. Ooh, buddy. I fly up, talking sense him, and cast Fairy Fire. You're my hero. Okay. Um, I assume Archer's not doing anything. Um, Archer's going to move 10 feet and unload his arrows at him. Okay. Fairy Fire gets rid of displacement too, doesn't it? Yes. Oh shit. Um He has immediate spell, so he can counter that. It's not his turn. Oh yeah, but he can this still use his immediate is... action. This is greater haste. Yes, but he can still use his immediate action. He can use it outside of his turn. All right. It takes from his turn next turn. 
yeah, it takes a swift action from the next turn, but uh, getting rid of the glitter dust is much more important to him than a swift action next round. Does he got to roll anything? Yeah, he's got to roll a dispel magic. He's not high enough. Uh, he doesn't have any spell slots high enough to do it as a greater. So it'll just be 25, I think. Thirty-two, I think, might be high enough. You, what's your caster level? Seventeen. And then it's a uh, what level spell? It's the first level spell, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so that's eighteen, and then your wisdom bonus on top of that is eight. I think you might have failed. Yeah, because you get an 11 as a base. I think that puts you well over 30. Is my math right on that? Sounds about right. Okay, then he does not manage to uh, counter it. I just rolled poorly. Does Archer murder it? Well, he's got stone skin and protection from arrows, so he's unlikely to do very much damage. All right, so protection arrow is what, 10? Yeah, protection from arrow gives him 10. Uh, stone skin gives him 20, I'm assuming, against Archer. You might want to give Archer that. Uh, There's 104 plus damage. Gotta love cluster shot. Okay, then he disappears. Gotta love kitchen. Gotta hate kitchen to see spells. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're lucky that I didn't retcon that in the middle of the game. Uh, I'm going to do that right now. Is chain? I have contingency and chain contingency, and you can't use both of them. So it's just an oversight on my part. Just change that to. Uh, Whatchamacallit? Greater haste. Someone want to go back into the hut? Well, there's nothing left in the hut now. You guys can obviously go back into the hut and uh, deal with the situation. Do you want to heal up out here with your current uh, wounds? How long are my birds out for? Uh, your birds are out for 2d4 minutes, I believe. Okay, because they still have a ton of healing that they can do on the... Yeah, the but bolt. 2d4 minutes, uh, you're going to be long past the healing point. Yeah, that's what I was... Well, I was just looking at more for myself, save their healing for them. I'll just heal up when the birds come up, but I'm already full. Yeah, it'll be six minutes before they are up and running. Assuming you guys don't want to spend six minutes waiting around. Definitely not. Okay, uh, cast any spells you're going to do beforehand. Note your uh, information, and I'll move you back to the other map. We loot the bodies. Oh, yeah. The goblins have awesome shit. You want to uh, post the treasure for the trolls, uh, Joe? Yeah, one second. I think the goblins have okay treasure. What was the other magic items that they had? Oh, the war trolls? Uh, they have plus three large great swords. 
and they have plus two masterwork uh, full plate or magical full plate. This is casually gear and a plus three gear attacks on the plus three sword. Sorry, what? Joe rolled the plus three great axe. Oh, that's one of the things that they had in addition to that. Plus three great sword and a plus two. Full plate. Both size large. So I have a question. What's your question? What's your question? Uh, so that he cast fly on me. And it says. Uh, 40 feet if wears medium or heavy armor. Now, because I'm a fighter, I don't take restrictions to movement due to my armor, but does that apply to fly too or just to land speed? Um, I would say it applies to the same thing. I'm just going to take my dog up. I'll be right back. All right. That was my question. Yeah, if you apply it to fly, then you have to start dealing with things like weight allowances and whatnot. I do everything based on the character. So if you turn into, if you're a 47 strength guy and you pick up two houses and a car, you can teleport with them, even though the teleport spell won't allow you to teleport that much mass. Copy that. I think that's too much weight for me to carry, but... No, I totally get that. But because I've always used that system, I think I should carry it over to fly because the same concept is it's your ability to fly. Someone with a 10 strength shouldn't be able to carry as much in a fly as someone with a 40 strength. Fair enough. And if, and you're, gonna use, verify. Yeah, and if you're going to use that metric, then it should transfer over to your armor as well. Okay, is everyone healed up? Okay. okay. Uh, did, did someone heal me? I didn't. Oh, is it in chat? It might be in chat. I don't know. Uh... Um. Oh yeah, you're down. Let me see. Well, I'm not. Out. I'm not that bad off. All I wanted oh. to do was get everything done in one spot so that you can write down your numbers and we can go into the room and transfer it to the new tokens. Unless you guys cast. War of the Roses again. We're not going to do any more outdoor fights this session, so uh, we can stay on a little map. I don't have map. that anymore, so you're good. I cannot believe how badly that backfired. Yeah. So, so what what does the spell do? I've never heard of it. It just causes everyone who's evil to take D4 points of wisdom damage per round, but all it caused everyone in the room to do is scatter outside and then made the fight a huge slog to fly around and find everyone. Ah. They were just all too cowardly to walk into the room after you left. So they just stood outside casting spells and they were up against, I think, eight mages. So they got their shit pushed in in the spellcasting category. Plus the Illithid. Uh, I think I actually ended that with a 10th level spell. I'm just happy Fairy Fire doesn't target someone. Yeah, there's a lot of spells like that that are super overpowered just because of the way the spell's worded. There's no way to block Fairy Fire, and that really fucked with mages. Yeah, I still had my fast power word blind. I totally forgot to use. That would have been pretty nasty too. I just got so enthralled with the lower level spells because I kept using metamagic stuff. But at any rate, uh, write down your current stats and I will shift you to the other map. Uh... 
I'm down like 81 hit points. Okay. I uh, put you guys on the other map so you can just put it on your token. I think in the most technical sense, there is an unconscious troll in this room. But I think he would be totally healed by this point because uh, it's been like 10 healed. rounds. Yeah, well, he wouldn't be totally healed, but he'd have 100 hit points, but he would still have a zero wisdom, whatever the consequences of that are. As, uh, does, which troll is it? Because I had an acid cloud on one of them. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I said before we left this map that the troll with 196 negative hit points is not likely to get up um, from, from the acid fog. It does about seven points per round, and he only heals three points per round out of his ten. So uh, it's going to take him 300 rounds to get back to base, or get back to the point where he can stand up, at which point he'll have a zero wisdom and he'll fall down. Yeah, he's at <laughs> minus 24. Uh, he's at 24 wisdom damage. Yeah, well, it doesn't go below zero. I don't know what his wisdom is. Uh, he actually had a really good wisdom. Uh, I think 15. That's why I wasn't concerned. I was like, yeah, it's going to take like seven rounds for you to do any significant damage to a warrior with wisdom. But goblins, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was right. Eight goblins. Uh, you can replace the potion of faith healing with a cure serious because they would not have access to faith healing as uh, drow minions. So that would be times eight for the uh, goblin wizards. That in itself is a pretty good haul. You said potion cure serious? Yeah, because they wouldn't have any goblin priests here. In this room, there are a large number of uh, humanoids. Many of them are unconscious. Um, many of them are badly wounded from the acid storm that was dropped on them. In <laughs> the firestorm. Um, the firestorm was in the center of the room, so it didn't get very many of them. But the ones that it did get, it would completely incinerate. But they are all huddled uh, under the, uh, uh, what do you call it? the porch thing the overhang trying to stay as far away from the uh, mess in the middle but like I said uh, there are several of them are unconscious from their wisdom damage so um, it's pretty easy to pick out the evil ones Did you guys kill the last troll? I think I forgot to put him on the map. You didn't kill any trolls on the other map, did you? I no. I did it. Okay, well then he probably got away. So you only have two treasures. Because he was already in that room when Violet cast the spell, and he went out the back door and over the cliff. And he'd already taken 200 points of damage, so he would definitely flee battle. Especially with mages throwing acid around. Alright, number one got away. Sorry, I totally forgot about that. Number one wasn't worth anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's only 20 grand or so. Plus the magic items that he had, which are another 50 grand. Nothing for you guys to worry about. 
I mean, oh, the we'll, major got dropped we'll, from the loot. We'll find him eventually. <laughs>